I want to make something clear. T.D. Jakes has put himself in this situation by his association and by the questionable things he has said in the past without repentance. Obviously, we know P. Diddy is into that whole LGBTQ homosexuality stuff, even alleged accusations of pedophilia, okay, allegedly. Now, with the things that T.D. Jakes has said in the past without repentance and the people he walks with, it makes everything almost believable. First of all, it's extremely questionable and it makes it believable. Even if there's no facts yet presented, it makes it believable because he's already extremely questionable. The Bible says bad company corrupts good morals and bad company also corrupts your image. Okay. And the Bible also says can two walk together unless they agree because P. Diddy's not changing. P. Diddy's not, he believes God is a woman. P. Diddy believes the most demonic and he does the most demonic things. He believes in the most demonic things and does the most demonic things. So what is their relationship really about? Okay. Now I'm going to, this video is really about Bishop T.D. Jakes um, on the black churches shifting stance on homosexuality. So T.D. Jakes believes that the stance on homosexuality, it can shift and evolve and there can be this inclusiveness when it comes to homo homosexualities in the church homosexuals in the church and how different churches should be allowed to just just watch this video because it blows my mind how someone can look up to him so much and deem, deem him as a general and a man of God and so untouchable to the point where they ignore this because he has never repented of this okay let's go ahead and listen to this a question coming in from uh, black 185 in our in our uh, digital community said, do you, do you think, I'm assuming, uh, LGBT community in the black church can coexist? Absolutely. I, I, let me push that question, because... Absolutely. First of all, churches and the LGBTQ community cannot coexist. They cannot be in the same church, because what's going to happen with the LGBT community, LGBTQ community, is that they're either going to get convicted and repent, and they're no longer LGBTQ, or they're going to walk out the church. So we can't coexist in the sense of the word of God and living and being in the same church. You know, we can exist in the same world, but we can't coexist when it comes to the church, when it comes to doctrine, when it comes to the faith and, and God's laws. You, know, you understand me? And it's quick. Absolutely. It's just, it, it, it's, it's suspect. That, that's sort of an obvious yes. Church ain't turning nobody away. How should the black church and LGBT community exist? I think it's going to be diverse from church to church. Every church has a different opinion on the issue, and every gay person is different. And I think that, too. Let's stop right there. Every church has a different opinion on the issue. Now, what's the issue? Homosexuality. Now, the Bible is clear on homosexuality that is an abomination that will lead to eternal damnation but he's saying that churches will have different opinions this is why td jakes is suspect right now this is why he's suspect listen again i think it's going to be diverse from church to church every how should the black church and LGBT community exist? I think it's going to be diverse from church to church. Every church has a different opinion on the issue, and every gay person is different. And I think that to, to speak the church, the black church or white church or any kind of church you want to call it, are all the same is totally, totally not true. And all gay people are not the same. The, the, the types of relationships that are afforded are based on the types of people in each individual case. Yeah. And LGBTs of types and sorts have to find a household of worship that reflects what your views are and what you believe like anybody else. What? Let's go back to that. Let's go back to that. This is, this is wild. Find a household of worship on the types of people in each individual case. Yeah. And LGBTs of types and sorts have to find a household of worship that reflects what your views are and what you believe like anybody else. So he's saying that the LGBTQ community, the homosexuals, transgenders, bisexuals, should find a church that represents their core values or what they believe or their convictions. So they got to go online and be like, okay, I'm going to Google online if homosexuality, if this church is okay with homosexuals, if this church is all inclusive, 
this is a doctrine of demons because he's no longer upholding the word of God. He's no longer cemented in the truth. This is craziness. So he's saying everyone has their own opinions. Wow. And the church should have the right to have its own convictions and values. If you don't like those convictions and values and you totally disagree with it, don't try to change my house, move into your own. And Bro, what? TD, come on. He's saying the church is allowed to have their own values and convictions. The values should come from the word of God. The convictions should come from the word of God. Murder is a sin. We know that because of the word. Homosexuality is a sin because we know it's in the word of God. Fornication is a sin because we know it's in the word of God. Now, T.D. Jakes is dancing around all, all T.D. Jakes is dancing around this. This is why when he, on today, I believe he did a live stream where he was dancing around it too. These men cannot stand up for the truth. And people will say, he was without sin, cast over stone. No, this is a doctrine of the demons. This teaching is a type of teaching that will, that will, number one, it will it will confuse people and it will allow homosexual homosexuals to believe that they're true Christians. It will allow LGBTQ people to open up church and be pastors. TV Jakes is his and establish that sort of thing and find somebody who gets what you get about faith. And uh, trust me, I've talked to enough LGBT, they are not all the same. Oh, for sure. <laughs> all Anyone and all Christians. No, are the same. no. Uh, but how, how do we, first of all, has your thinking evolved on this? E evolved and evolving. Mm -hmm. Evolved and evolving. Wh where I, were I, you I, and where I, are you? Has your thinking evolved on this? E evolved and evolving. DJ is saying that his stance on this has evolved and it's evolving. So it makes you wonder about these allegations, these alleged, you know, things that are happening right now. Supposedly this, 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 this happening. It makes you wonder. If T.D. Jake's stance is evolving, this was eight years ago, I believe. Where is he now? Does he believe homosexuality is a sin? Is he partaking in these things? I'm not saying he is, but he is evolving. And I believe that he has evolved into the place of what is being exposed now. Mm -hmm. Evolved and evolving. Where, where I, are you? I, where are you? I think that where I am is to better understand. We bought the church bought into the myth that this was a Christian nation, <laughs> and once you get past that, which a lot of people are going to criticize me because they're still going to think it's a Christian nation, which is whole. See, this is the reason why TD Jakes gets criticized. This is the reason why people throw stones. This is the why the reason why people expose him, not because of his own personal life and whatnot. Because the doctrines of demons, the unrepented. See, people say he's without sin. Cancer. This man is not repented. Jesus said to the women, sin no more. Jesus would tell people, sin no more. But this man has not repented. Uh -huh different show mm -hmm. but once you begin to understand that democracy and, and that a republic actually is designed to be an overarching system to protect our unique nuances then we no longer look for public policy to reflect biblical ethics if we can divide or what you would call separation of church and state yeah. then we can dwell together more effectively because atheists, agnostics, uh, Jews, all types of people, Muslims pay into the government, the government then cannot reflect one particular view over another just because we are the dominant group of religious people in the country because those numbers are changing every day. We need a neutralized government that protects our right to disagree with one another and agree with one another. D.D. Jakes, he's basically saying that we need a government that's going to protect, basically, when the church disagrees on homosexuality. Even though the Bible's clear. Mm -hmm. So that covers what happens outside the church. Right. Inside the church, has your thinking uh, biblically, scripturally, hermeneutically shifted at all? And the reason I ask that is because I talk to a lot of ministers now, and there was that big conference out in South Africa in the last couple of weeks where people from all over the world were there, and this is one of the issues that came up along with race and other things. And, and one of the questions was, is, is there a way to approach Christian tradition, Christian scripture in, 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 in light of 
a new understanding of LGBT. For example, uh, 18th century, there might have been a particular understanding of what slavery meant mm -hmm. in relation to Paul, in relation to the mm -hmm. New Testament, etc. Mm -hmm. uh, that has shifted to the point that it is socially accepted that irrespective of what text says, literally, we don't support slavery as a body, mm -hmm. right? And, and even though it varies church church, most churches don't support <laughs> right, slavery. Right. Might be a few out there that right. <laughs> we don't get invited to those. Yeah. <laughs> but, 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 but similarly, is, there's room for that same kind of shift. I think that shift has to go on behind the closed doors of the church because I think in the mainstream America, anybody who doesn't agree with you. T.D. Jakes is saying that a shift that a shift would need to take place behind closed doors. So he's promoting a shift when it comes to doctrine, when it comes to what the Word of God says about homosexuality. And you guys are surprised of what's happening right now with all the allegations. You're surprised why T.D. Jakes won't address it. <laughs> we have a, a derogatory name to call you. Mm -hmm. And I think it oversimplifies the complexity of text. The fact that you have fidelity to the scriptures as you have been taught does not mean that you're necessarily homophobic or any other kind of phobia. But yet in mainstream America, anybody who doesn't line up with a particular worldview, we give them a name to ostracize them. Mm -hmm. Much like we were given names to ostracize us. This name calling does not depict the, the struggle that many people have theologically. I think the argument has to be theological and not sociological. The mm. fact that the world has turned that way doesn't mean that the word has changed that way. Mm -hmm. The argument for, for clergy, fundamental clergy, has to be a theological argument. It cannot be a sociological one. If I wasn't out of time, I would push you on this. And one day, we're gonna, I'm going to bring you back just to talk about this, because okay. I'm, I'm fascinated by your take on it. Um, and I, I want to not just challenge you, on it, I, I want to understand your thinking on this, because the thing I appreciate about you most is that you operate in good faith. Mm -hmm. uh, you're honest, you're transparent. And about your struggle with these things, mm -hmm. and about your convictions about. Well, it's things. a complex issue. It's not a complex issue. Homosexuality is not a complex issue. It's a real complex issue, and it was in the Bible days. Sexuality versus spirituality. Paul spends a lot of time wrestling back and forth, trying to understand: uh, should a woman wear her head covered? Is you know, uh, should you cut your hair? I mean, they grappled back then, and we're grappling. Talking about eating pork, eating shrimp. Uh, Cutting your beard if a woman should wear pants and it's not the same as homosexuality. Now, because we are humans and we are flawed and we are not God. Yeah. Once you understand you're not God, you, you leave yourself an out clause. No, no, but obviously we're not God. But we follow what the word of God says. This is why I say do not put any person on a pedestal. Do not put any person on a pedestal. Mm. And it, it just it just blows my mind. Out of concern. It just blows my mind how people <laughs> remain bewitched. You know what Out I mean? Out of concern. Some of you come in to hear what I'm... And I'm about to play this video where he was in the church, I believe yesterday or today, and did a live stream, I believe it was today, did a live stream, you know, and he's talking about not wanting to address, but he low-key is addressing it, okay? Concern. Some of you come in to hear what I'm going to say. All of you who expect me to address a lie, you can log off. The thing is, he has to address it because he has said, unbiblical things that promote homosexuality, that promote the evolving of the gospel, that promote almost an inclusive gospel. See, it makes you wonder about, you know, Carlton Pearson gave him a platform. It makes you wonder, like, are they kind of the same but different at the same time? Because Carlton Pearson, Carlton Pearson believed the same thing T.D. Jakes did on homosexuality. Facts. I will not use this sacred day and this sacred pulpit to address a lie when I have a chance to preach a truth. I will stand straight up, head up, back straight, and preach the unadulterated, infallible word of God. 
But the thing is, you don't tr you don't preach the unadulterated, un infallible word of God. You don't do that. You literally don't really you don't teach on holiness, repentance, and you you j you literally have a track history. You're a history of promoting homosexuality in the church, or saying you know it's evolving, or any church should have their own co convictions. Christians should have their own convictions. So we're no longer cemented on the word of God what the word says because that is what the pulpit is for but there will be a time <laughs> so you can stop dragging people and arguing with people and fighting and just log off all you do is just hit the button right there log off there is no show here. You know, my, my thing is this. If these accusations, these alleged allegations and these things that allegedly happened, if they were true, he would address it. Because this is something that can take down his whole career, take down his whole ministry, take down his even his daughter's church, uh, who's the head pastor right now. He could take down everything and potentially even put him in, in prison. You understand me? And for him dancing around and not addressing the facts, like were you at that party? How many parties have you gone to? Do you go to, do you go to P. Diddy's parties? Why are you at P. Diddy's parties? Like, and it's crazy to me because he, we know he goes to the parties. We know he hangs out with P. Diddy a lot. We know he's all about the, the, the gospel evolving when it comes to homosexuality he knows that he, he he has we know he has a struggle when it comes to if homosexuality is a sin or you know if it's something that can be accepted or should our stance change we know this man is corrupt in that area but many of you honor him so much to the point where you can't see the truth now i'm not going to say that those specific allegations are facts that those specific things that were said were fact i'm not going to say that what I'm going to say is that I'm not surprised that those allegations are out. I'm not surprised. I cannot call T.D. Jakes a man of God because of what he's promoting. Can't do it because of what he has never come out and repented of. Once he repents, he steps back into the, into the realm of man of God. But right now, he's a deceiver. Right now, he's confused and he is deceiving. And he needs to repent from being a motivational speaker and not penit and, and not uh, plaguing the church, not the word plague is bad, but not just bringing the house down, uh, with holiness, hitting the church with holiness, just bringing holiness and holiness, repentance. But this is what happens. Motivational speakers, they dance around <sighs> just like Carlton Pearson. Many people will honor him to the grave with his doctrines of demons. And the, the day where he passes, they'll talk about, God forbid, anytime soon, they'll talk about what he did in the past. And, the, and one day we'll look back and we'll look at him talking about an evolving gospel. <laughs> this is crazy, man. And it, it blows my mind. He'll dance around the whole thing, not, not address anything, but talk about it low-key, about how he's not going to address it. But he has all these questionable things. He can't even he can't even quote the scripture of can two walk together unless they agree. He can't quote the scripture that bad company corrupts good morals. Bad company also corrupts your image, T D Jakes. And you have put yourself there by your association. You're guilty by association. 